It's a test at the turnstiles. Riders recognize the swipe or tap with the new fare payment system, then push through, or please swipe again. This new test gate is stopping some people in their tracks on the way to the track. I don't have to get tested by the dirty turnstile, and um, it's better. Cedric swipes and heads to the train. The MTA installed the new pilot project in the past few days at Atlantic Avenue Barclays by the new Customer Service Center. I hope it continues, and I want it to stay. They need more of these around the city. The transit agency is looking for a new design that's more accessible and user-friendly and wants to hear rider reaction. I thought it was some kind of contraption, honestly. <laughs> we see a lot of those. Right, we? right, right. Some riders, even those carrying packages, didn't seem to notice. Others head right for the wider entry and exit point. I think they should put some kind of directions up to people to understand. It's time to test the change, says the MTA's chief accessibility officer. That turns out didn't work for people like me who use wheelchairs. It didn't work for parents and caregivers and strollers. It doesn't work for people with luggage coming from out of JFK. The test site at Atlantic Avenue Avenue has sensors in the floor and remote monitoring to provide info on how riders use it. Data also tracks fare evasion, logging how long the doors stay open and the number of riders walking through. They close more quickly than the current emergency exits. This is not the final model. The MTA plans to try some variations over the coming months based on the data and observation. We are looking to see how the New York environment and the New York riders interact with these types of gates. And we're looking to create the requirements, the New York requirements for the New York gate that we hope the industry will deliver. That gate today doesn't exist. The MTA already has budgeted $25 million for new fare gates throughout the system. First, this test, though.